Good afternoon, everyone. Bonjour tout le monde. Mina san, konnichiwa. Today, I wanted to come live to talk about what is cultural shock and not what is cultural shock. Thank you very much, Jean-Marie, for your feedback. And as I always say, and thank you to my mentor, my coach, who taught me that seven years ago when I launched my business, it is better to take imperfect actions rather than doing a perfect inaction. So I will keep doing my imperfect action with my mistakes. And that's okay because I'm moving on, moving on. And today, so I wanted to share with you some of my culture shocks I experienced for the past years, for my entire life, I would say, because if you know, or if you don't know, I am French and Japanese and I lived in both countries. I lived in, I was born in France, moved to Tokyo at six years old, um, lived in Tokyo for nine years. My mother is Japanese. And in Japan, I experience different culture shock, even if I'm half Japanese. So it would be, it would be hours and hours of um, videos if I would share all my culture shock. But perhaps the biggest one would be um, the fact that in Japan, it's very important to stay humble and when you receive for example a compliment or someone tells you oh you're cute or you did a great job you basically don't say thank you like in France you know when people tell you that you have to say thank you when somebody somebody compliments you etc but in Japan when someone compliments you gives you a compliment I don't even know if we say it compliments you but anyway you understand what I'm saying. When someone tells you something nice, instead of saying thank you, you say, no, 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 that's not true. I'm not pretty. I'm, look at this, look at that, look at my wrinkles, look at uh, everything that is not pretty. And basically you downgrade everything, your accomplishment. If someone gives you a compliment uh, regarding your uh, accomplishments, your studies, your job, you, you downgrade and you say, no, 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 it's not me. It's, uh, it's thanks to my team, etc., etc. So you have a very humble, uh, very humble behavior. And for me, it was a bit uh, challenging because when someone would tell me something like you're pretty or something, I would say thank you. And people would smile because for them it was a bit funny and now that I'm in the US it's totally the opposite um, it's if you show your accomplishment if you show uh, openly that yes for example like when I meet uh, an American who tells me oh uh, I, you have French I, I speak French and in fact, when you start speaking in French, you realize that the person doesn't speak French at all. He just know how to say bonjour, comment allez-vous. And but the person is proud to say I speak French because perhaps the person learned uh, French uh, at high school. And so that's totally different culture because in the US, you can say, yes, I can do that. Thank you for the heart. Hello, Vincent. Nice to see you. It's been a while. And so I hope you're doing well. Let me know in the comments how you're doing. Um, and so here is the opposite. When you, you can say, I can do, because it's, it is a culture in the US of I can do anything attitude. If, if I want to do something, I can do it. If there is a saying in the US, if there is a will, there is a way. So if you want to do something, you can do anything. And that's why I love American culture as well as Japanese culture and French culture. For me, each culture, coucou Fanny, comment ça va? So for me, each culture has its beauty and, and the fact that now I have so many different cultures in me, I, it's like a puzzle. Merci pour les coeurs. So it's like a puzzle. I have a bit of French and Japanese and American culture, but what I want to say is that in each place I go, I have a culture shock and I think everybody, we all have a culture shock when we go somewhere else, whether it's for traveling or living. And I think it's a big lie to say that there is no culture shock, that we are all the same, that it's 
everywhere is the same. I think it's a big, big mistake because the first step is to acknowledge the difference. We are all different depending on our culture, depending on background. So it's important, first of all, to realize where I am coming from, what are my values, which glasses, which through which lenses do I see my life, and what is the generalization? Be careful, I'm talking about generalizations here and no stereotypes. That's a cultural uh, jargon, cultural uh, um, word that we use, but be careful of not doing, not making stereotypes like, okay, French are like this, Japanese are like that. Like, and especially when it's negative, but it's important to have some generalization in mind of, okay, how people here tend to communicate, tend to behave so that you're prepared. And the reason why I'm doing this live is because uh, a lot of time I see um, people moving from a country to another and doing these mistakes of thinking, oh, this culture should not be as different. Like I saw so many French moving to the US thinking, oh, American culture is not so different because I see it in the movie or in Hollywood movie, I know, and it's, it's Occidental, so it's a similar, which actually is totally false. American culture and French culture are so different, and I would say even bigger difference between American and Japanese culture. But I could talk about that for hours and hours and hours. That's why I give trainings and coaching um, to in different companies um, and I am also doing a workshop, facilitating a workshop this Wednesday, um, like every last Wednesday of each month, I do a workshop on different topics. This Wednesday will be about how to survive culture shock. And I think that will be a very, very interesting, very fascinating uh, workshop. I invite you all to join it. It's part of the expat club. so. The expat club, um, I will just explain briefly, very shortly. It's a community for all expats uh, all around the world where each month there is a workshop on different topics, whether it's cultural, whether it's mindset, whether it's how to help our children to navigate through all these cultures. So there are different topics on cu cultural and, and well-being. And also in the group, there are guest speakers, seasoned expats coming and sharing their experience as expats, their challenges, how they make it successful. Uh, and there are also Zoom calls in group to answer all your questions. You can also ask all your questions in this group. So this is a paying group, which is only for now, only $150 for one year. So can you imagine for more than 20 hours of learning and for these networking opportunities, it's only $150 just until May after the price will change. It is only for the founding members. So send me a message, join if you want to come live this Wednesday to attend this uh, uh, workshop. And when you join, you also get access to all the previous workshops. So the one in January was about how to gain clarity around our goals. I also had the opportunity and chance to interview Sylvain Perret, who is a seasoned expat, who was an expat in Guadeloupe and in the US. So it was so interesting. And we are going to have different uh, ex um, guests for the next month. I'm very excited to have you there. And have a wonderful day and remember, yes, to, to stay humble and to realize that each culture is different and it's important to learn about who you are, how you see your world, and also to put yourself into other shoes and learn, be curious about how other people in other cultures how they see the world as well. Okay, I send you one, I send you my kisses. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Au revoir. Sayonara. Matane. Tai chen. Adios.